Hey guys, Rex here, and welcome back to some more Around the Clock at Bikini Bottom. Now, guys, this is like, what, part three of the series? I've actually been enjoying this game a lot. I mean, it's bringing about some nostalgic memories, especially playing as SpongeBob. I mean, look, guys, the hash slinging slasher is on my screen right now. How many people can say they've played a game with the hash slinging slasher? Now, I hope actually he pops up in this episode, but. We're gonna jump in regardless, guys, but before we do, do me a big favor now. I think this should be a double upload for today if I've timed my schedule correctly. Go ahead and do me a favor, guys. Hit that like button for me. Let's get this video to 150 likes, not just for being an amazing series, but for being a double upload on the channel. And guys, if you love double uploads, you love random horror games, you love Around the Clock at Bikini Bottom, or you just love me, do me a favor, guys. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really goes a long way in helping out with our goal to 100K before the end of the year. So let's go ahead and jump in, guys. Sorry, you know, I had to go ahead and do the regular intro. Oh my God, my eye is itching. Payback, I guess, for like wasting your guys' time with that. So we know we got the map here. Obviously, um, we did Glove World. We did, this is Mr. Crab's house. Oh, I got a burp. Sorry. Okay, we did um, Squidward's house. So we've got Punch, SpongeBob. We got SpongeBob's pineapple, and we've got Patrick's rock. Let's do Patrick's rock, I guess. So it says you will play as Patrick within Patrick's rock. The difficulty for the difficulty for this level is average. Jumping is enabled. Do you wish to proceed? All right, cool. So back to playing as Patrick. After Squidward saves SpongeBob and Patrick from the clutches of Clone Glove World staff, Squidward's floors his mo Batmobile to their homes. When questioned, Squidward insists that the two head into their homes and grab whatever valuables they can find. Without pressing on any further, the three split off into their homes. So I think shortly after, Patrick climbs into his rock to seek out his beloved toys. It doesn't take long before he forgets what he was doing, <laughs> deciding to let his imagination run wild within the confines of his box. His box. He lives in a rock. Belchers will attempt to wrap you up in their tongues and pull you up to begin the cloning process. So break free before this happens. A belcher? The heck is a belcher? Is that a character in SpongeBob? The heck is a belcher? Okay. So to Patrick's right. rock we go. All right, you dunderheads. Remember what I told you. Grab any valuables you can and meet up here. In the worst case scenario, drop off whatever you're carrying and hoof it back to the Batmobile. <laughs> even my pet Rocky, even my toys. Huh. Yes, Patrick, even the stupid Rock and the toys. Well, I'm going to grab Gary. Okay, uh, I, we've already seen this. We read this. We read this already. It took me a little while because I was going to say, I remember something about a pet Rocky. Wait, this is as big as this house. Oh my God, this is the easiest thing I've ever seen in my life. So it looks like we got pet Rocky. Oh, yeah. I think I left my toys lying around here somewhere. I just got to find them. Collect Rocky and your toys. Okay, well, this is easy. I'll spam E to search. So we got one toy. Two toys. Oh, look at this. And then Rocky. Oh my god, that was the easiest. Oh, yeah. oh I almost forgot about the Mermaid Man Barnacle Boy action figures. I think I left them inside my imagination box. We should probably go take this stuff to the car before we think about going in an imagination box, Patrick, but here we go. What the heck is an imagination box? It's literally just a cardboard box. Oh my god. <laughs> look at his face. Why does he look like that? Uh, where is it? Maybe if I can just reach down a bit more. Did we... Is this the ring? Is this the ring SpongeBob edition? Poltergeist? Why did we just get sucked into the box? Oh my god. Oh my head, where am I? Follow the mysterious figure. Oh, because that's that's what we should be doing. This place kind of looks like my imagination box. It sure is scarier than I remember. Oh god. Where is that mysterious figure? I don't even see it. Oh look, the spatula. Beautiful. Okay, we're actually um, we're actually doing pretty good if we found that. Um, this is, this place isn't even big. Why can't I figure out where this thing went? Oh, maybe this way. Okay, it's this way, right? Why are we following this? I just this doesn't. Oh my god. Hey yo. Uh, are you guys getting this? Are we getting this? Are you guys seeing this? Are you guys seeing this? Oh, 
Okay. Nice. We found the weird looking man. <laughs> I always liked in SpongeBob episodes when they put real looking humans in the cartoons. Um, I just thought it was funny, especially like even as a kid, I thought that was funny. I was always like, you know, whenever they made something look realistic, it just made me laugh. I don't know. Maybe I'm a weird kid. I was a weird kid. Um, dude, I have found everything in this map except for what I'm actually looking for. Locate the exit for the sand maze. Okay. Oh, yeah, well, I guess we did get locked in here. So, locate the exit. All right. Well, it doesn't seem this, that bad. There's nothing sh trying to attack us yet. Okay. It's getting kind of creepy. I'm not going to lie. It is a little creepy. This is actually the most creeped out I've been playing this game. Uh-huh. So, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's one of those, huh? Ah, okay. It's one of those things where you can't get too close to it. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's, like, right on me. Slenderman vibes. It's literally Slenderman vibes. Reload from the last checkpoint. Prowler Patrick will always stalk his prey. All right. So if we see him, we need to get out of there a little quicker. I guess I kind of, kind of, uh, took my time with that one. We gotta, we gotta jolt out if we see that. Jeez. I, I can you outrun him? I don't think you can. I mean, I actually need to go that way. Maybe not. I didn't know this was an, another entrance. All right, cool. What if, well, if we pulled him over here. Wait, what is that? I don't... Uh, we're looking for the exit. Okay. Yeah, because I don't really know. Is this the exit? No, this is the way we came in. Oh, no. Run, run, run. Run, Patrick, run. Run, Patrick, run! We're dead now. We're dead. No, we're alive. We're dead. We're alive. We're dead. We're alive. We are alive. We are dead and alive. Okay, so you can't open up doors. Okay. Interesting. Okay. That's just beautiful. Uh-huh. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What's this? What is this? Nothing. I hear him, I just don't see him. I thought it said jumping was enabled. I can't jump. The exit to the sand maze? Is it a lever? Get the exit. It's gotta... Oh. It's gotta be like a lever that you push up on. Oh, he's close. He's really close. What do we got over here? Anything? Can we get an... Can I get an exit, please? Oh, here we go. What's this? Okay, I haven't been here before, I don't think. Oh, well, maybe I have. Okay, everything's... Everything's starting to look pretty familiar now. Holy. Holy. No, this is new. This is newer. He's stalking me for sure. <gasps> Wait, is that it? Oh, yeah. My action figures are close now. I can feel it. Okay, so it's not over yet, but we at least got past that part. So that should spark up a checkpoint. Find your action figures. So it looks like they disappear when we shine the flashlight on them. Where are my action figures, man? I just want to get out. Holy. Shadow Patrick's like literally Shadow Patrick's. Whoa. Dude, talk about creepy.
Holy. All right, let's stay on the path. It's easier to see them this way. Oh, free toys. Okay, come on. There they are. Oh, they really didn't like that. Holy! What? I couldn't even get that one away from me. Prowler perhaps will lunge if you if he gets close enough, so keep your distance. Oh, no. Okay, do, can we start off where I got the toy? That would be cool. Oh, yeah. oh my god, of course not. All right, at least the toys we know are, like, all the way through. So, I think you can fast track this. You don't really have to, like, follow. Oh, you do. Jeez. Some of these guys are insane. Um, I s swore I went through. I'm sorry, Patrick's actually got to deal with the worst enemies. They're way creepier. It's literally demon versions of himself. Okay. So. We gotta run. I'm stuck. get out of here dude i literally don't know holy moly holy moly i'm super close to the exit now i'm super close to the exit i think we outran the big one okay please tell me this is the exit yes okay so that's it please get me out of this box get me out of this imagination box what escape the prowler's influence oh my what <laughs> what Robot Pirates Island ships will fire cannons and will cause you to fly off into the void when hit. I got hit by a cannon? When? Oh, I just couldn't see. Okay, so now I can jump. All right, let's go for it, baby. I don't I didn't even know there was a cannon. I just fell into the hole. <laughs> okay, let's go, baby. Come on. I can't jump over that wall. Oh. Oh. There's different little shadow spirits chasing us. Uh, what the heck? Oh, this is a whole nother game now. This just became a whole nother game. It just turned into Fall Guys meets SpongeBob meets Temple Run. <laughs> like, what am I playing at this point? This is tough. Right, so. ah! What? Prowlers are well hidden in the darkness. You utilize your flashlight? I can't anymore, man. This is insanity. Alright, so I guess I can't go that way. Is there actually a guy there? Or is, like, all the time? Or did I just make a no-no? Oh, yeah, look. You can kind of just barely see him. Yeah, I ran right into him. Oh, my God, another one. Okay, so that's a no-no. I don't see any other ones. So... It's... What?! Oh my god, is this Ninja Warrior?! Why is this so hard?! Are the cannons... Yeah, the cannons will hit me if I jump too quickly. Dude. What am I playing now? What happened to just taking the clarinet out of the bathroom? Like, what is this game all of a sudden? I'm dead. Nope, I'm alive. I mean, the best thing I can do here is that think that we just like... Just speed run it. Mother of pearls! Oh my god, I actually made it past that part. Now I just can't get hit by one of those prowlers, which could be anywhere. Come on, dude. I need to get out of here, man. I'm never going to make it past that part again. Please. I see the exit. 
I see the exit. Please don't sneak up on me, Prowler. We're good, right? That's it. It has to be over. Oh, thank God. I see the light. Are you happy now, Patrick? Wait, what? Wait, what? There's one in real life? Fight evil. What is he going to do? What is he going to do? Oh, my God. We're going to fist fight this thing. We are actually going to fight this thing. Just when I thought this was over. Oh, nice. It's Starfish Man to the rescue. Use the left mouse button to throw a punch and hold down the right mouse button to block incoming attacks. Be sure to manage your pow power uh, so you can stay on your toes during a scuffle. While a blah, blah, blah is over an enemy, it's your turn to strike. You must land three hit combos in order for an enemy to receive damage. Stand. We're going to fight. Wait, where is he at? Two, three. Suck on that, buddy. One, two, three. Suck on that, buddy. Yeah, come on. Come on, chief. Yeah. You think that was funny? Wait. Okay. One. Come on, buddy. What? I'm blocking you. This is only the tutorial? Is this only the tutorial? Okay, that's a combo. No, is it not? Why? What? What does this game become? I don't understand. Can I just run away? What the heck, man? How is that? How am I not blocking? Okay. <laughs> What? Okay. Is he trying to do like a, s a special move on me? I don't understand. What is happening? Why is he not going down? Can somebody explain to me what's happening? Want one of these again? Uh, he's. I didn't block that. Why? Why is he not going down? I don't understand what is happening. And I'm not... Okay, here we go. Defeat the power. Uh, range attacks will have the enemy launch some projectiles towards you. Okay. Some may shove you into dangerous hazards, while others may be hazardous themselves. It's best to avoid these attacks and wait for an opportunity to pummel them with the three-hit combo. Um, all right. Wait, what? The tutorial's still going? That's a three-hit combo. Oh, ranged attack. So if we punch him before he gets a chance. Oh, he's getting ready to throw one. There we go. Boom, three hit combo again. That stopped him again. Probably charging up another. Where is his health bar? That's what I don't like. He has no health bar. Bait attacks are fairly tricky to read. Any an enemy will bait you into hitting them following an attack that you then have to counterattack. It did initially wait, you may have to wait for an enemy to unblock so you could What? Oh, is he blocking when he does that? Is that what that is? Dude, I don't understand. Hey, look, now he's open. I think. <laughs> what? 
What? Alright, he's blocking, I'm blocking. if I'm doing this right or not. This is the long... This is such a long tutorial. Using all of what you learned to defeat this wicked trickster. Oh my god, alright. This is easy. It's like playing Elden Ring Spongebob Edition. Come on, dude. I wish he had a health bar. Alright, so I think he's blocking here. So none of my attacks are getting through. Good block. Good counter, I would say. I would say that was pretty good. I can't tell if we're doing damage, man. Yep, that seemed pretty good. Oh no, okay, that one actually got through. Back up off of him. He can't hit us from there. So boom, boom, boom. Okay, I think I figured it out. So we have to wait until that gray exclamation mark goes above his head. I forgot all about that. So, oh no. Wait, can I punch him here? Nice. Okay, perfect. Not much better. Okay, so we're just going to wait for either the crown to pop up or that gray. Uh... Wait, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. Okay. Not that. Maybe now? No. Boom. Boom. Finish him off. That's done. Need additional practice? Beat the goop out of this prowler anytime you want. Need the extras menu. I don't know why we would need to... Is this like a... Is this an um, online multiplayer option? Is that why you were learning how to do the boxing thing? I mean, it's pretty cool. Don't get me wrong. It just doesn't really make much sense. Oh, no. It's Doodle Bob again. Interesting. Doodle Bob is chasing us. Holy. He's chasing SpongeBob. So we already know. You already know that uh, the next. The, like, you know, SpongeBob's level is going to have Doodle Bob in it. <laughs> Dude, that Patrick level is extremely long. Wait, I don't remember this cutscene after we beat Squidward's part. Okay, so the final score was a B. Um, I feel like we found maybe one more thing, but I, I could just be tripping, like I said. So, all right, that's Patrick's level. Let's give SpongeBob's level a go. I'm going to save first. But yeah, I think giving SpongeBob's level a go is not the worst thing. It stinks because it's going to be intense. So, after school, we're saying SpongeBob. All right, yeah, basically get the value from valuable stuff from the house. So, SpongeBob's on a mission to locate an escort Gary's to safety, but even our plucky protagonist may have the misfortune to run into an unwelcome set of spiteful foes. SpongeBob had better hope he isn't clumsy this time around. Okay, SpongeBob, let's try and not die to our good old buddy old pal, uh, Doodlebob. Doodlebob was always funny to me in the co in the comics in the show. I always thought it was an interesting character. It's just basically the main protagonist. Um, right. drawn out. So we can skip this because it's the same thing every time. I don't... One thing I will say is I don't know why it makes you play from all three points of view. Like, to me, it's a little a little over the top. So, oh, so it was actually a prowler who drew... Oh, wow. They're even drawing Doodle Patrick. Well, that's not good. Sheesh. Got a little yawn going now. Wait, what? Oh no. 
The Minoy Minoy is alive. This is no bueno. So, let's try and feed Gary as soon as possible. So, locate Gary's snail food hidden in the kitchen. It says some enemies are more persistent than others, while a few foes will stalk you. Others will quickly chase upon spotting you. For instance, if an enemy can easily keep up during a chase, perhaps you should stay out of sight to remain undetected. Study these various baddies and note their strengths and weaknesses to ensure your survival during the invasion. This is going to be really tough. So, yep. what is that? Something was just shining, I thought, here. Oh, it's that. Okay. That's the exit. Don't need to go in there yet, it says. So there's paper here. Okay, Gary's snail food in the kitchen. So we got the snail food. Easy. Wait, what? I just held it all the way until the bar was max. Okay. <gasps> Find Gary's food bag. Huh? Oh, I swear I left it somewhere around here. I don't know which one it is. Oh. It's Doodle Bob. Oh, no. Well, this is kind of scary. Oh my god. What was that noise? Oh no. I think it's Doodle Patrick. What is that? What is this little creature? Okay, bye. Why is... Oh my god. Bring the food to Gary's bowl and fill it up. Probably downstairs. Oh. Okay, there's our little Minoy Minoy friend. <gasps> what? Uh, so take notes of the ceiling marks to know where he can ambush you. I didn't even see. I didn't even. What is on the ceiling? I don't understand. All right. Don. Oh no. Don. Don. So. Doodle Bob is quick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no, man. This is gonna be really hard. I already, like, I'm already sad. Alright, so. Most likely. Hold on, can we close this and. He's drawing. Ah, okay. Can you see me here? No, he's going. <laughs> what? I don't understand! I am confused. Let's go in here. Okay. So, I guess he... Yeah, so, he comes out. It looks like he's drawing something else. Ah, okay. So, we can't go that way now? Or, like, how does this work? Hello. Oh, what the? What the heck? No, this is too hard. I don't know what to do now. So, I see it. I see that he's on the ceiling, but... I mean, how do you avoid that? That's actually really hard. Can we hide over here? Let's try and hide behind this. Don't draw Patrick on that ceiling, man. Just stop it. Okay. So, I see him, but how do you avoid him? Uh, uh, Doodle Patrick's a sly sea star, so take note of his ceilings markings to no worry. I don't know, man. That's really hard. It doesn't make sense. Okay, so we're pouring the food. 
Bro, Patrick is kind of broken in this one. I know why this is intense now. It's a oh, little no. broken. What? It's not over? Oh my gosh, man. Head upstairs and find Gary? Ah. My heart just sunk, man. I, no, I can't get in the room. I hope it checkpoints me here. Dude, this is actually really hard. No Patrick on the ceiling, right? Okay, come on. Where's Doodle Bob? Doodle Bob, come on, man. Oh, no, it's too risky. It's too risky. Because you also got to look up at the ceiling. Like, you got to go at a good pace, but you also can't get too close. It's really tough. This is a really tough level. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. Okay, let's hide behind the TV. I actually don't know where Doodle Bob is. It could be left or right. Oh. Crap. Oh. Wait. Oh, he's... Okay. okay. Let's go in here. I don't see Patrick, so... Should be okay for a sec. I hear... Okay. I don't care about that at all. Okay. Go upstairs. Oh no. Oh, I just stepped on him. I think that makes a doodle bob, actually. Where is... Where is Gary? <laughs> Gary? Oh, there he is, there he is. All right, Gary, it's okay, dude. Don't worry, Gary, we're gonna get out of here. What? No, man, we were so close to beating it. Don't tell me you gotta start all the way from the... Oh, whoa, this is super tough. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I hope, th like, I hope this avoids Patrick from spawning in. I hope all we have to do is escape. Come on, that's the front door. Yes. Okay. That's gotta be it. That's gotta be the end of this level. Thank God I've seen this scene before. I know this is it now. Okay, we did it. We actually did it. Oh. It's Doodle Patrick, Doodle SpongeBob. Where are they going? Where are they taking them? Doodle Patrick, pish posh, the imbeciles escaped your grasp. No surprise from that pitiful skirmish, I'd say. Now I besheesh thee, my paper thin porous companion. So is Doodle Patrick really smart? Now that we've returned, perhaps a second incursion would be in order. Shall we inquire on how to deal with them first, Bob? Uh oh. What is that? Oh my god. Egad, what in mighty name of Neptune was that horrid abomination? Did they just kill that jellyfish? Indeed, it's not like the wildlife here in the doodle dimension. Bah, it's disgusting secretion marked with a pencil. What a second. Wait, wait a second. What if. Oh my god, they're gonna draw. Oh no. Infected doodles. Doodle Patrick, my sweet Mary Sue, I can fathom this brilliance of mine. This liquid provides a protective seal on this jelly and making it immune to the eraser. God. Yeah. Yes, my acquaintance, I believe we've cracked the threshold restraining our potential. Oh no. Oh, a marvelous, simply marvelous. God. It's the one that Patrick blew up, uh, like destroyed. Quite so, it seems those three have a knack for finding these jellions. Also, they're gonna follow us now. Come on now, brethren. Preparation for repopulation shall commence. Wow. Who would have thought the mastermind behind this whole plan was Doodle Patrick? Okay, so like, where do we go from here? We've completed every stage, at least in this beginning process. Oh, we've unlocked some new stuff. So it looks like we've got the, bar the Bargain Mart and Tentacle Acres. 
So two new levels to play. So I'm going to wrap up here. We're going to save the game, guys. Again, this video, I would like it to get to 150 likes. I know we can probably smash that like goal. And uh, yeah, guys, go ahead and hit that button for me. It really goes a long way in helping out with the YouTube algorithm. I'm going to wrap up here. Thank you guys again for the love and support. And I will see you guys in the next one. But until then, peace out.